Finally, after eight days, we have the first major trade of the 2024 AFL trade period and finally we have a trade video. In basic summary, Matthew Owies is off the West Coast Eagles and the Carlton Football Club has landed pick three in the AFL draft. Alright, just going over the um, overall deal, um, I'll put it up um, in the video, but the deal is basically this. The Carlton Football Club gained pick three, pick 68, and pick six... Yeah, pick three, pick 63, pick 68 in the upcoming draft, and give pick 12, 14, 73, and Matt Owies to the West Coast Eagles. The West Coast Eagles get Liam Baker, Matt Owies, pick 12, and pick 73, and will give up pick three in this deal. Richmond get pick 14 and give up Liam Baker. Starting off from the Carlton Football Club, just, Jesus Christ, um, they said they wanted to go to the draft. Like, that's been their overall, like, build-up, been their overall strategy throughout this whole free agency, and they slowed it up on that, back on Friday, that massive um, trade with Paul form, they gave them pick 12 and 14, and this allows them to go even deeper, sliding in even more to get pick free for the draft. They're going to miss Matt O.E., so as a small forward, is has just absolutely amazing scoring potential. And I think I ser yeah, I seriously rate as a player. But overall, when it comes to overall getting the draft and getting an elite kid who could help out seriously with their flag push. Because next year, and Patrick Cripps alluded to this on Braille and Metal Night, for the Carlton Football Club, their overall goal, their overall desire is to try and win the Premiership. That's been their goal, that's been their desire. And gaining pick three, getting an elite kid to put into their system and just getting someone who will be able to help them from this draft, like a Will Ashcroft, um, or, uh, yeah, Will Ashcroft or a Nick Dacos, is um, just absolutely um, just massive for them. For the West Coast Eagles, oh boy. Oh boy. Like, you want it, like, it's good. Like, you'll be improved next year very much by getting William Baker and Matt Owies in the deal. You'll be improved a lot, and you'll be, like, very much helped out by it. Like, they may help you win one or two more games, but for pick three? That seems like an insane risk deal to make. Like, you, like, this draft isn't like last year's draft where it's like, other than top few, it's like, not as strong. This draft is loaded, and you're giving up the third pick in it? Like, I don't know, for a cop that's still very much in a rebuild and still on the very, like, bottom dregs on the ladder when it comes to their overall position, it is just unreal what this deal overall means. Like, the positive for them, the positive if you can find one, is that they did this deal to get future considerations and future picks for Chad Warner next season, potentially. Trying to get him in the club. But overall, like, for the now getting pick free, you could have helped quite a lot. It's just brutal. Utterly brutal. If Carson picks a really good kid with this pick, they, like, as much as Matt Owies is going to seriously help them, they could end up regretting this deal. Very much could. So, like, I'd be very conflicted if I were an Eagles fan. Like, very happy to get Owies and, um... Actually, not even conflicted. That, but giving up pick three honestly kind of sells the deal. Because, like, that is just unreal. As for Richmond, like, we know what game they're playing. They're trying to get build up as much draft picks as possible. They're offloading all their premiership stars. And Liam Baker is another one. Daniel Rioli looks like he's going to the Gold Coast very soon as well. Like, they're getting a lot of picks and they're building up for it, which will be big in the long term, but for the now, yeah. Might be a rough 2025 season ahead for Richmond, and we've said that repeatedly on the channel. They might be worse in 25 than they were in 24, which is scary to think considering they won the wooden spoon. Overall, when it comes to um, grades I'd give this trade, um... For Carlton, um, it seriously depends what they do for pick three. This could be improved in the 2025 season, but I'm giving them a B plus for this. 
getting pick free in, even though you have to give up always for it. But to be honest, you weren't really wanting to give up. You didn't really want always. So like, he will hurt you. But if you didn't want to have him, like Collingwood didn't want Jack in event by the end of twenty twenty three. Like getting pick, yeah, getting the um, third overall pick in the draft for it is massive for that. So yeah. I think they've come out as the overall winners, and this could be proved even more if they nail the selection. If they don't nail the selection, this could get rough. But at the moment, they are the winners. For West Coast, I'm giving a D minus, I reckon. Like, overall, like, the Eagles, um, like, I get what they're doing with future considerations, and, like, getting Owies and Baker will help them, but giving up pick three is a massive risk to take and a massive burden on this deal. So, yeah, and especially it will hurt if Carlton end up picking a really good player with this pick. And for Richmond, give it, um, I'll give it a solid um, B. Like, solid B minus. Like, you know what they're doing. You, you can't really um, grade them on it. They're going for the futures. They're going for the drafts. It's more about Carlton and West Coast in terms of serious factor, but you get what Richmond are doing. So overall, massive trade will be very interesting to see how this goes down during the season.